This is another matchup where Finn just great. We don't need to OTK him, he has no healing. We just get in there with the ninja and show him what's up. True Silver, Finja, Doomsayer. Loot order, I guess. Uh, don't, don't forget you play the stupid horse, yeah. I'm, I'm the only one rocking the dumb horse. There you go. Double hammer, stupid horse. That's a fire bed exclusive. I don't know, man. It's, it's any Finn Paladin. How unique can you make it, right? You can't really credit any Finn Paladin to, to any one person because, you know, it's 25 of the cards are auto-includes, you know? You don't really have too much wiggle room with your design choices. So, do you want to play two True Silvers? Yeah. You want to play two Equalities? Yeah. You want to play all the Murlocs? Yeah. You want to play two Any Fins? Yeah. You want to play two Wild Pyros? Yeah. It's like, there's 16 cards. <laughs> So I don't, I don't know if you really credit it to anybody. Blizzard invented any Finn Paladin, credit Ben Brode. That, I think, is the most accurate one, right? This Blizzard, it's kind of like a stock deck, right? So I think we have to give him We have to all hail Ben Brode, give him the credits for the deck. It makes total sense in my mind. Anyway, this guy's about to get finned. Play a minion. I dare you. Watch, he plays Ezra Drake. We buff it to a 4-5, kill the thing. Oh. Okay, look at this, look at this, he has to. He can't just not play the Azure Drake, he's just dead. He's just walking into it. It's the Finja Ninja Trap. Oh, GG. GG. Oh. It's all over. It's all over, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? It's all over, and we're, we're not even, we're not even done yet. We still, we got the Anyfin later to bring him back. We got more removal, like, why is it slowing down? Look at this board. This is turn five against a rogue. He's toast. He's toast. Covarious just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Welcome to Bat Cave Team thing, man. Appreciate the support. And that's why we play Finja in our deck, even though we try to avoid actually putting it onto the field against things like Reno Lock. It's still just good enough because it could just do this. And this is really good because this is a bad matchup for us. We're super unfavored in this matchup, but um, you know, don't tell, don't tell Finja that. He's got his own agenda. Tonight, right, more very much. Alright, you get him, Addy. Thank you. That actually destroys our board. Holy smokes. Okay, we're only three turns away though, so we're 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 still doing good. I want to save the hammer to be able to pair with a quality in case we don't find anything else. So, I, was like, I value the face damage, right? We've only had one bluegill. So it's going to be one bluegill, two war leaders, and a finja. Which should be enough presence to get the job done. But if we find the other bluegill, we can get the 12 burst. So we want to try and uh, make our way towards getting them to 12. Is Tyrion worth in anything? I cut Tyrion from... Everyone else has run a Tyrion, but I cut it because I love hammers. And I don't know if it's the correct choice or if it's more of a personal matter, but I think the card's good. Alright, he's in range. We just need a bluegill. Bluegill for the game. It's not a bluegill. We can trade a quality hammer hammer. The battle! Second anything? Oh baby. We're not gonna have time for both of these. Cause he's dead on the second anything launch, so. Turn nine, clear the board, turn ten, launch one, turn eleven, launch two. I got the best deals anywhere. He could set up lethal or something crazy though, but we're gonna clear his board and heal the 30. Nice board development. Oh. 
How is this a bad matchup? Because Rogue's a deck that tries to draw its entire deck and then combo you and kill you in one turn. Paladin's a deck that tries to draw its entire deck and combo you and kill you in one turn. Rogue's kill turn is like 8 and 9, and Paladin's is like 30. So it's usually quite difficult to um, do your kill turn before they do theirs. But Finja changes that, because Finja allows your kill turn to be way quicker. For example, now it happens on just turn 10, because I already have all my Murlocs out with still 10 cards remaining in my deck. Okay. Well, we still don't have the bluegill, right? Is he going to kill me? He has 5 cards left. He hasn't used any Cold Bloods. He's used 1 Eviscerate. So he's got 12 plus Leroy is 18. And then... Uh... He's used both preps and a coin, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he can't dagger up, so he can't actually kill me, right? Should be alive. Make a sweet little value trade here. I think I'm alive. That's why we squeezed in all those healings, so we could just do anything into anything. Uh, Denny Tim, just subscribed for four months in a row. Welcome back to the Bad Cave Team thing, man. Appreciate the support. Gadgetson seems counterproductive with only four cards remaining in the library. Second sap. Now our Tyrion gains huge value. He avoids killing the blue kill. I'm out of cards. Well played. So we have 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We can make him feel silly, right? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, we can make him feel silly. Yeah, should have backstabbed the bluegill. For justice. Like, if he backstabs the bluegill, then I can't do that, and I have to play second anything to kill him. But now I can pretend I didn't even have the second anything. 